not get up and speak tonight. Amen. Amen. That was Amen. the best graduation I think I've ever seen. It was, a, it was different. It was different than any other graduation speech I've ever heard. Every person, I believe, that got up and spoke was anointed of God last night. And uh, our graduate, I was so proud of him Amen. last night. God shone on him last night, too. Yes, he you know, and I thank God for that. You know, that's from being brought up in a Christian school. Oh, yeah. That's from being brought up with Christian parents that showed him Amen. how to serve the Lord Amen. from a young man. Him being filled with the Holy Ghost from a young man. Amen. You know, and you know what? Our children need that. Oh, yeah. Our children need to be brought Amen. up in that way, Sister Ella. Yes. They need that. They, they need, need that. You know, I just want to encourage everybody tonight. Amen. Our Jesus lives. Yes. 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 Our Jesus is alive. Yes. Yes. If you you get into a service like there was last night yes. with the spirit that we're feeling tonight, we know he's alive. Hooray! You know what? You can have an atheist tell you what well, you don't know everything. How do you know that God's alive? Because I don't have to know everything. All I gotta know is that God is alive. I don't need to know everything. God is. Come on. You don't know everything. Amen. You can't tell me he's not alive. Amen. I can tell you I know he's alive because I can feel it. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. I can feel it. Amen. Yes. Tonight. You know, I want to elevate everybody here tonight in the name of the Lord. I want everybody to get up on that mountain tonight. Amen. 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 God found favor in Moses. Over in Exodus 33 and 17. It starts out right there. Right there. Right there. God found favor in Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thou <coughs> he knows me. He knew Moses. <coughs> He knew his name. The name of the Lord. Just think, the Lord knows your name. You can find favor in the Lord. Everybody that speaks to the Lord and prays to him and has accepted Jesus, he knows your name. You have found favor in him. And he can show you things. You know, the, Moses went up into that mountain. Can you imagine the glory of God that he saw? All right. God wouldn't let him look up on him because no man can look up on the Father. He said just a few chapters, verses down from that. Amen. So no man can look upon my face and live. Amen. He's going to show him his hinder parts, what that is. You know what? I believe that there was so much glory there. Yes. And he revealed so much to him yes. that, you know, whether it be the book of Genesis from the beginning, Adam on back is his hinder parts, or whatever he revealed to him at that oh, time. <coughs> that might have been the hinder parts of God that he was Absolutely. talking about, that revelation that he gave him at that time. Um, whatever that is, can you imagine being there amongst the presence of God to where you just glowed? Right. Nobody could look upon your face. When he had to go back down off that mountain, he had to put the veil over his face before he could go in front of those people. Yeah, they could not look upon Moses' face. His hair was white, I'm sure, after that. His hair turned white. His face was glowing. And when he went back in front of God, he you know, he'd take that veil back off. When he got back in the people, he put that veil back on because he was so bright. Those people heard the voice of God, Amen. and they come to their tents and started worshiping from their tents, tent doors, Amen. even. You know, when you hear the voice of the Lord sometimes, you don't want to approach it, because there's so much power in that voice that God can scare you to death. If he wakes you up in the middle of the night sometimes, I'm telling you, well, all it takes is one word. The word, whether he brings a, something, a message to you in a dream or not, and you wake up and you pretend that dream isn't nothing but a dream, and you go back to sleep and you dream that dream again, and you pretend that that's nothing but a dream again, and God wakes you up and he says a word to you, go! Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you're going to set up in that bed and you're going to pay attention to what he, attention. what he was bringing to you yes, and you're going to get a revelation from that. Oh, and it's yes. time that we started waking up out of our sleep and getting that revelation Amen. from God because Amen. he's starting to speak to people and people are starting to wake up right. and people start bringing these revelations yes. before the church 
and start revealing what God says to them and start using the ministry that they've been designed to use, oh, yeah. that God designed from the beginning of the earth yeah. before you were formed, yeah. then maybe then that we will start getting lifted up Amen. onto that mountain. Amen. We'll stand on Amen. that rock where Moses stood and we can cry, Holy, holy, holy unto the Lord. Pray to our Lord. Michigan that I remember, Sister Christina King from Cadillac, Michigan. She used to sing it. She's in Canada now among Indian reservations up there. And she used to sing, Holy, Holy, Holy unto the Lord. Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, Holy, Holy. holy, holy. Yes. Yes. Crying, Holy, Holy, Holy unto the Lord. Holy, holy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just stand on that rock where Moses stood. Yes. And see the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, we can do that tonight. Yes, Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. We can stand on that rock where Moses stood and see the glory of God. Hallelujah. We need to start listening to the anointed preaching that God brings before us. We need to start taking heed, reading this word. Oh yes, God. This is our roadmap. Oh yes. There's life in this book. Yes. Amen. I was telling my grandson today, I was reading it today, and he was asking me, what are you reading about, Grandpa? And I said, well, I'm reading about when the, when the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, Cody. And he goes, oh, I like that part. I saw that movie on that part. I said, you know, every time I read that, Cody, I find something different in it. He goes, you know, I get that when I read books sometimes, too. I said, well, you don't get it more often. You know? Indeed. I'm telling you, that's a revelation to a little yeah. boy. That's a revelation to a little boy. I'm telling you, we need to start teaching our kids these things. You know, we need to start revealing stuff like that. I praise the Lord tonight. I can't wait to get up on that mountain, stand on that mountain, and feel the glory of God. 